now. Start clapping, start clapping right now. Make a lot of noise for Mr. Steve Brown! <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Uh-huh. I'm finally here. Kev on stage. Yeah. Goddamn right. Kev, uh, I, I appreciate what you did, but you cut costs when you brought me to this motherfucker. You did. Yes, Kev brought me here on Spirit Airline, goddammit. Spirit Airline is the only airline that fly you halfway and drive you to rest, bitch. Them the niggas dropped me off in Gardena. Then they said they were gonna have a car for me. Yes, they did. They had a limo, but it wasn't no Jay-Z, Beyonce, superstar limo. It was a funeral home limo. I knew it was a funeral home limo limousine because when I got inside, the family was still not crying and shit. We had to drop them off at a dude's funeral before I came here. I get to the funeral, I look at the obituary, I'm a pallbearer. Like, how the fuck? <laughs> have a good ass time. I'm here with all you black people. I love myself some black people. I do. Yes, I do. We are the most unique race on the planet and everybody want to be like us but they can't do shit that we do they can't like for instance why is it when a black person die the first thing we say is i just seen him what the fuck that got to do with it the nigga dead right now what the fuck that got to do with it then they start naming places they didn't see him i just seen him at walmart was he buying food for the repast the nigga dead right now got to... i just seen him at, at at the at the mall was he buying a suit for the funeral the nigga dead god damn it I just seen him at the club Friday. Well, bitch, he won't be there this Friday. Nigga, dead. <laughs> God damn it, I'm glad to be here. I'm from a small town uh, of 32 people called Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Yeah, that's an Indian word that means nothing to do, nigga. That's why I like coming here, man, because it's big. See, Tuscaloosa's small as hell, but I love it here. It's big. Big, yes it is, yes. That means, see, I, you can get away with shit here in L.A. because it's big, it's spread out. You can get away with shit, you know? Not in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, we too small. You can't get away with shit because everybody know each other. Like for instance, you ever try to call in with that deaf and the family excuse, but your boss know everybody in your family? <laughs> you be like, hey man, I can't come in, my cousin died. Who? You know James? Yep. Well, I ain't talking about James, I ain't talking about James. <laughs> you know Linda? Yep, uh, I ain't talking about Linda. <laughs> Well, do you know Fred? Yep, I tell you what, I be in at 12. Stay the fuck out of my business, man. <laughs> I love L.A. I do, I love it, man. I love the weather out here. I love the weather. Yes. It's, it's, it's hot, you know, during the day. And it's cool at night. Shit, not in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Nigga, it's hot year-round. Right now, if you go to Alabama, look it up. The, the heat is on civil rights, goddammit, right, right now. <laughs> Tomorrow is going to be on oppression. I swear to God, it's hot in the mother. Yes, it was so hot last week, I saw the Ku Klux Klan marching with short sleeve sheets on. And one of them got so hot, he just pulled his hood off. Fuck this, them niggas just gonna have to see me today. It's hot as some bitch out here. You know it's hot outside. You know it's hot outside when the police don't wanna do his goddamn job. I got pulled up by the police. It was so hot, he didn't even get out the car. He pulled up beside me, got my cell phone number, and text me my ticket. Who the fuck does that? And you know how you be walking downtown, you see the police officer sitting in a cool air-conditioned car at the light. I got so hot, I jumped in the car with dad. They be like, sir, you're going to have to commit a crime to ride in this car. I looked at his ass, lit up a blunt, and said, nigga, let's ride. It's hot than a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. I am. Goddamn, out here in L.A. Yeah. Uh-huh. Y'all looking good out here in L.A. Yeah, and I know some of y'all looking at me like, does he really talk like that? Yes, bitch, I talk like that. <laughs> but I'm a killer. I'm a thug. I'm a goon, so I'll slap the shit out you. I'm a killer. <laughs> I am. I'm a real goon. But my voice don't go with the thug activities I indulge in. They don't go together, you know. Like, if, I, if we at the club and I slap somebody at the bar, I ain't going to say nothing, because if you hear my voice, it's going to fuck up my street credibility. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've been doing thug shit all my life, sir. All my fucking life. Yes. But my voice fucking up every time. When I was 15, I'm going to rob this dude. You know. Rob him. Got my gun dead in his fucking face. While I'm trying to explain, he wasn't even scared. He trying to figure out what he knew my voice from to my Miss Eunice. Is that you? No, motherfucker. <laughs> nigga going to call me Eunice. What kind of bullshit is that? And the nigga kept going like Miss Eunice. You know them pies you sent mama show was good. Like, bitch, I kill both of us. <laughs> 
forget, oh, I'm a real thug, sir. I remember a couple of years ago. Some dudes, a group of dudes gonna, gonna jump on my homeboy, you know. But me being the thug that I am, you know, I'm gonna get my crew together. We gonna find these niggas, roll up and do a drive-by. Oh, oh, we find them, but you know, to do a proper drive-by, before you shoot the gun, somebody's supposed to holler out the window. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> these niggas pick me. Oh, I said, what's up now? <laughs> Somebody in the group said, that pussy bitch, I'm like, wait a minute, drive the car. Drive the car, these niggas think we selling pussy. Drive the car, drive the car. That time I almost got us fucked, you know what I'm saying? I be trying to do thug shit because I'm true to the game, you know what I'm saying? A couple of years ago. Nigga, I'm gonna do some real thug shit, I'm gonna rob a bank. I'm gonna rob a bank. That day the bank was popped. Busting out with my ski mask, duffel bag, shotgun, everybody scared as hell, so I opened my mouth. Everybody on the floor! <laughs> they laughed at me so goddamn hard, I filled out an application. Let me get a job. I am so <laughs> I'm not saved like I need to be saved. <laughs> Next day, my homeboy talking about, you heard about that girl that tried to rob the bank? Like, bitch, that was me! <laughs> my boy's so fucked up, I can't even answer my home telephone. Somebody called my house, I answer the phone, I'd be like, hello, they'd be like, hey, little lady, put your dad on the phone. Like, bitch, I'm a fucking thug, what's wrong with you? <laughs> They be fucking with me in the drive through. They know it's me. They know it's me. I place my order. They come and get a speaker loud as hell. Can you repeat your order, ma'am? I'm like, bitch, I'm a fucking thug. What's wrong with you? You're going to make me drive around there and throw $2,000 worth of pennies at your goddamn ass. I drive around there. They still ain't convinced, sir. What happened to the lady in the car? Bitch, I am the lady in the car. <laughs> And I'm gonna tell you right now, goddammit, this is a funny ass show. If you ain't laughed by now, that means your self esteem is low and you need to be dead. <laughs> Ma'am, you ain't laughed. Is somebody beating on you or something? You better laugh before you fuck around and fart, goddammit. <laughs> Speaking of farting, you ever farted and it smelled so bad it made you embarrassed, but you was by yourself like, I can't believe I did this bullshit. I must have ate a skunk pussy, some whoop balls, some monkey nuts. You ever farted and it smelled so bad it made you think you were dying? This got to be leukemia. Don't know how. You ever fought it so hard and so loud it made the person next to you check on you? Bitch, you all right, do I need to go? <laughs> you ever fought it and walked away but the fart followed you? Uh-uh, don't do that, this ain't nothing but the devil. <laughs> and they say women don't fart, they poop, that's a goddamn lie. <laughs> Y'all be blowing the sheets off the goddamn bed. <laughs> Y'all be busting engine blocks, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with my girl the other night, we ride home from Taco Bell, you know. She gonna sit on the passenger side and let out the loudest fart I ever heard in my goddamn life. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? She's like, oh, I'm sorry, something I ate didn't agree with me. I said, I don't mind y'all disagreeing, just don't be arguing in my goddamn car. <laughs> All that arguing sound like some shit by the house. <laughs> Speaking of shit, you ever took a shit so good it made your legs go to sleep? Now you got to wipe your ass laying down. You ever just you took a shit so good it made you take off all your goddamn clothes. You sitting there with one sock on. Like, I can't believe I did this. I Jesus, how did I get here? How did I, how did I get here, Jesus? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I love y'all. Ladies, y'all looking wonderful. Y'all looking wonderful. But let me say this, ladies. It's getting hot. Hot. That means sundry. Yes. But wait a minute, ladies. Don't get it twisted. Sundress season is not for you. Let me explain. Sundress season is for the fellas. Sundress season is when you beautiful ladies wear a sundress that's light and fabric so we can see the curves and contours of your body. Sometimes they wear panties. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> But as of lately, ladies, you have been being selfish. You've been thinking about your goddamn self, so therefore, you put any goddamn thing in that sundress, disrespecting the eyes of the men who are watching you. So ladies, I'm gonna give you a pointer so us men can have a successful 2022 sundress season. <laughs> ladies, listen up. Dress for the body you got, not for the body you want, goddammit. <laughs> you trying to dress like Beyonce, you built like Rick Ross. No! <laughs> trying to walk bow-legged, you ain't bow-legged, your shoes on the wrong foot. Don't do no shit like that. Asking them dumb ass questions, girl, how, baby, how I look. You look like 12 pounds of meatloaf in a five pound bag, goddammit. Your, <laughs> your ass built like a blooming onion from Outback, goddammit. 
You built like T.D. Jakes. That's who the fuck you built like. The wide ass shoulders and little ass legs. You built like a car key. What the fuck is wrong with you, y'all? I hear built like high blood pressure. 190 over 40, bitch. You ought to be ashamed. <laughs> you built like a Subway sandwich. You got meat hanging out everywhere. <laughs> you ladies with the fake booties, I see you in here sitting up all high. I'm going to tell you something, ladies with the fake booties. Look, I like them. I do. But sometimes, you know, you got to take it easy. I like them. But y'all be going too far. Look, if you're going to get a fake booty, make sure it match your legs, please. You got the ass of a rhinoceros sitting on top of the legs of a little boy from a third world country. You, you, in, the, you in the club built like a blow pop. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. We can't even give you a drink. You all off banners. Give me my drink. But I don't blame the ladies. I blame, I don't blame, I blame the fellas. I blame black men. Because black men has made it so relevant. Big booty is so relevant, it's a shame. We made big booty so relevant, we have forgotten what's going on up front. <laughs> we made big booty so relevant until ugly women with big booties have forgotten that they ugly. <laughs> Think about it. Every picture they take, they like this. Every picture. And then they get some courage and want to put their ugly ass face in the camera. <laughs> to my girl, I did that. Don't do it again. We want to see that ass. We don't want to see you, Forrest Whitaker. What the fuck is wrong? <laughs> you know what I like? You know what I like? I like women in leggings. I like that. I love it. You, you wear leggings? You wear leggings? God damn it. You wear leggings? God damn it. You wear leggings, sweetheart. I love to see women in leggings. But I also think leggings should come with rules. <laughs> Especially animal print leggings. If you're gonna wear animal print leggings, make sure you weigh less than the animal you represent, goddammit. <laughs> I've never in my life seen a chunky rattlesnake. I ain't seen no shit like that. <laughs> Rattlesnakes for the sliver. You all in the club. I've never seen a cheetah with the spots rubbed out in between the thigh. I ain't seen no shit like that. Your cheetah got on a whole waist trainer. Bitch, I ain't seen no shit like that. I've never seen a knock kneed ass zebra. I ain't seen no. I've never seen a lioness with her goddamn sandals crook the fuck over. I ain't seen no shit like that. My name is Steve Brown. Y'all make sure y'all follow me on social media. Comic Steve Brown. And thank you, Camp on Stage, for the awesome, awesome, awesome opportunity. Thank y'all, guys. I'm out of here.